This is absolutely insane. I just give up tall girl energy, what can I say? Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. This vlog is going to be all about our Perfectly Imperfect sale, which was a flash sale that was held, I don't know how long ago now. I don't know when this vlog's gonna go live. Project Me's take on a second sale. So all day today, I've been counting and prepping what is gonna be in the second sale. If you missed it, it won't be the last one. We will be doing these a few times a year. A Perfectly Imperfect product is basically a product that has either got a slight imperfection, like a mark from the manufacturer or a misprint or something that I've never actually released that I wasn't completely happy with. So have decided to sell at a discounted price just to shift the stock and to reduce our loss a little bit. Like we don't really make profit from those products. It's more just to reduce the loss of the products that we've made and don't want to sell. That is why we do them. I have these unreleased one day at a time socks, which I'm not 100% happy with. So don't wanna be selling at full price. However, I have a lot of them, like a lot of them. The manufacturer basically messed up. They didn't do what I asked. Then when I pushed back and said that I wasn't happy, they basically just said, get over it. They have offered me no compensate. Ooh, they didn't offer to reprint. They didn't offer a refund. They didn't offer compensation. They were basically just like, no. And I've been fighting it for about four months now. And I waited and I got the final email today basically saying, sod off. I guess the timing of that, as much as I would love them to be a bit kinder about the situation because it was their bad, I'm done fighting. <laughs> it's been such a long, tedious journey with them. That's caused me a lot of stress and anxiety and the timing, I guess, is okay because it means that I know that they're not going to do anything about it. They won't want these back, etc. So I can sell them in the second sale. The socks will be in the second sale. These unreleased magnets that I wasn't 100% happy with will be in the second sale. It says, home is where my mugs are and I'm just not happy with the text. And I designed this about seven, eight months ago and since then, I've massively improved my drawing style, my text, and this just doesn't fit with the vibe of Project Me Shop anymore. Like, I think that the illustration is super cute. Um, so hopefully people will like this. Um, we also have imperfect mugs, tote bags, t-shirts, and with every imperfect order, they're also gonna get an imperfect thank you card that I made months and months and months and months and months ago, which I don't like the design of at all anymore. I've definitely outgrown these, but also has the wrong Instagram account on it, so they're wrong. So I thought it was quite funny that you get an imperfect thank you card with an imperfect product, as well as um, one of these um, freebie prints, which has been printed um, wrong. They printed them not central, so it cuts off the design. So I thought I'd put in a freebie print and I'm gonna put the note on the back just saying thank you for supporting the perfectly imperfect sale because for us as business owners these sec second sales or b grade sales whatever you call them they're actually really helpful because really i'm not going to make any money from them it's not about making money as profit it's more about reducing loss because when manufacturers mess up they don't always refund you or reprint things for you. So you're kind of left at a loss if you choose not to sell the product. For example, the socks. I'm basically just gonna charge how much it costs me to make them just to try and break even on them rather than making any money, which is sad because I think that the socks would have done really well if they'd been exactly what I wanted, but I think people will still like them. I'm just very, very fussy. And then there's t-shirts that have marks on them from the manufacturer and um, a whole range of notepads that have a misprint on them. That's gonna be going live on Saturday. So I thought I would document the journey. My first ever second sale. I've never done this before. I don't know whether anyone's gonna be interested in it. I don't know whether we're gonna make any sales, whether people aren't really interested in like B grade products or whether people are really interested because they get a discount. 
I really don't, I have no idea how it's gonna go down. I think the fact that there are products that haven't been released might make people more interested. Really don't know what to expect. I'm just bagging up the magnets at the moment and sealing them with perfectly imperfect, but still worthy of love. So that when people open them, it kind of subconsciously reminds them that it's an imperfectly perfect product rather than them kind of maybe forgetting that they ordered a second or a B grade and then being disappointed if there's an imperfection. It's just to kind of remind them. So I'm gonna do the magnets. I need to label up the sock. There's a lot to do. I need to take product photos of them this week. And I also need to make drafts for the website of the products. I need to make banners for the website to like promote the sale. I also need to make all of the social media posts for it. So there is a, a lot to do. And I actually go to America for three weeks next week, which is why we're making it a 48 hour flash. We're just gonna post them, see how many sales we get. And then I am leaving the shop in Scarlett's trusted hands while I am away. I will get everything done because I have to. <laughs> we were made for each other to hold on to. I was carved out of bed beneath your moon. I was birthed in the mountains under printed out these which basically just says thank you and then there's a space to write their names so like our usual thank you cards i always write their names for supporting our perfectly imperfect sale we thought we would use our perfectly imperfect thank you cards which we never used for sale orders to reduce waste as well as continue the theme second sales massively help us to reduce waste and loss in our small business so we really appreciate you supporting it and we hope that you can give our b-grade products a loving home we are all perfectly imperfect after all sale items are non-refundable and thanks again for shopping small all of our love the project me team the first 50 people get one of these ones and everyone will get one of these um and i made it the border wavy to kind of match that we normally have a wavy thank you card if you know what i mean so far i have made 50 because i'm guessing i'm gonna get around 50 orders again i always say 50 but i just feel like for a second sale i'm not expecting it to be like a huge launch like usual I may not even get 50 i may massively surpass 50 i genuinely do not know everything we've done on this shop has been a first so far like a first launch as in opening then we did a first restock and now we're doing our first second sale so every time i do something it is the first time so i have no idea i can't really gauge things i just see how it honestly i just see how it goes i really don't know Ooh. this is how many of the thank you cards i have done i've stuck the stickers on the back and this is half of the thank you cards that I have. These are gonna do us for many, many, many second sales to come. Cause I think I have a thousand of these. Back in the beginning when I was ordering things in bulk because it was cheaper to buy more. Usually when I'm sure about something, that's better. When it came to this, I made these far too early. I made these before I designed the vibe of what I like the shop was even gonna look and feel like. Like this is just a completely different vibe. And I just got excited and I ordered a thousand because it was way cheaper. So I'm glad that I'm gonna get use out of them. And I think that this is cute. I think it's cute that it's like it says on the card, you know, this is a unused thank you card. Again, it's reducing the waste. But I need to go so bad. Got a lot done this evening. <laughs>
Welcome to our first Perfectly Imperfect sale. This is Arms. He's just checking over the website to make sure that it's not like obviously dodgy because when you stare at something for too long I start not seeing problems. Does it look okay? Looks fantastic. Okay. Seven minutes. Whoopie doopie doo. I'll let you have the CEO seat. As you should. Thank you. I have no expectation for a second sale because not everyone wants like it's the kind of toss up between like everyone wants a bargain but not everyone wants a product that's got like a mark on it. You look so much taller than me. I am so much taller than you. Yes, sorry. It's all six foot five inches of me. Whenever people meet me in person, it's the first thing that they say. It's I'm way gonna, shorter. I'm going to sit up like this, just, gonna... to, just to add the height. <laughs> they don't have to know my legs are short. <laughs> I just give off tall girl energy. What can I say? All five foot three and a half of me. The half makes all the difference. Okay, let's have a look at the live map. I feel like I'm about to do a news broadcast. It kind of is. It does feel like it. I really it? enjoy it because eventually you'll forget that the camera is there. Good morning, Britain. Good morning, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> Would that get copyrighted if you play the song? Yeah. Oh, it's such a good song. 40 people waiting on the site, ready and raring to go. We've got someone in Sweden, Italy. Lots of Brits. Arms has never experienced pre launch Emma before. <laughs> Aren't they fun? You're always fun. <laughs> to varying degrees. Are you telling me you don't have Rolling Stones permission to use their music directly? Oh, I'll email them. I'll give them a ring. Sure, you sure get a hookup. <laughs> Can you imagine what I was like on the first launch? Oh, yeah. It was an absolute maniac. I was so horrible. <laughs> I looked like, oh, this is a new side to you. 94. 94 what? Visitors. It's almost 100 visitors. And we're live. <laughs> Go! Wait! No! Oh my god! Okay, we're live. Woo! 104, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> god, I'm so glad I made these drafts. That's your story. Done. 124 visitors. 27, 8, 9, 130, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Who's over there? Oh, that's just the dot on my screen, I think. Oh, oh wait, no, maybe. Oh, no, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Big up. I mean, visitors doesn't mean sales. We don't get excited until the big, the fat lady sings, if you know what I'm saying. Someone's on the Poland. east coast. Oh, and yeah, oh, the west coast. New Hampshire. Somebody's up very late or very early. Can I can't remember. I can't work out the time zone. Kansas and California. Oh, we got two Aussies. Two orders as well. Two orders. Ah! Woo! Yay! Oh my God. Lots of people around the world at the moment. We got 36 active carts. Jodie Ferguson was our first order, who got one of our Perfectly Imperfect t-shirts. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 the Buy Yourself Flowers print, Moving and Grooving Baggy Tea. A pair of socks! They're my favourite. I love the socks. And also, for anyone getting a mug, couldn't tell the difference, so winning. <sighs> I am blind, also, <laughs> but they looked identical. Yay! Aww. Oh my god! What are we up to? 722. Two. I think you're gonna have a very busy Sunday. Oh uh, no, it won't be as big as last time. But I keep saying that every time I'm like, every 50 time. orders. Every maybe. time. Oh my god, guys. You crazies. <laughs> uh, woo! So that's 729? I think so. Very hard to read back to front and did a camera reverse. And really far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People are on it. They are on it. They're so good. They're so good. Never sat waiting on websites for things to go live. I've done it twice. Was it for Bummy? One, yeah. One, one, was, for Chris for, one, for, one was for Chris Bumstead. And TGF, the Birmingham YouTube duo from back in the day. Oh. They're the childish logo clothing. Yeah. I think it's the packaging on the socks that I like the most. Just like the little... Yeah, you want to show them? Let's show sure. them the socks. I'll hand model the socks. If there's any, you know, agencies that need hand models. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect. Perfectly Perfect. imperfect. This is his first, like, real on-camera debut. <laughs> I don't know why. Glad that you are. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. <sighs> ah, getting ready for another day of packing <laughs> order. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Maybe we should set a sales goal for the end of next year. Ten. Ten thousand sales by next year. End, end of, of next, next year. year. Yeah. Post Christmas. Post Christmas. So by Jan first, twenty twenty-five. 
You've got 10,000 sales. Okay. I just realised that's the year I turned 30 and that's terrified me. <laughs> <laughs> age, am I right? I'm 27 this year. It's really scary. It's a tough age. Live through it. <laughs> Thanks, really. Get me. You've been, me you've been here for the whole thing. It's, it's aged me more. Hey! <laughs> it's a delayed response. Though. Yeah, just aggressively give them love. That's the only way you do love. Aggressively. I do, yeah. I love aggressively. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Do you? <laughs> do you? I've been watching you for years. Is it weird to say that I'm proud? Thank you for your videos. You have no idea how much they mean to me. Love you, Robin. Thanks, Robin. Thank you, Emma and Helpers. Been watching you for ages. Love your content. Keep being you. Cheers, lovely. Thanks, Joanne. Joanne, this is your second order, isn't it? I remember you from last time. Thank you for all the love you give to your followers. Been a subscriber for two years. Never miss a weekly upload. Thank you for showing us it's okay to not be perfect. Thanks, Leisha. You've done such an amazing job and I'm so proud of you. You've helped me make so many changes for the better and seeing you live with ADHD helps me do better too. So proud of you. Thanks, Hayley. Nice messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 41 check now. Ah, let's go for 100. Let's go for 100. Double, double, double. Hi. So, Arms just left he has you know a life to live we have been open for about an hour and we have about 60 ish orders which i'm happy with for a second sale i know not everyone wants imperfect items like i completely understand that we're on 775 let's see if we can hit 800 total orders today that would be exciting i'm gonna print the first batch of labels if anything it's quite nice because it's not as honestly as overwhelming but let's print the first batch
morning from a very sleepy Emma who packed all of the orders last night. I think we are up to 100 and... How many orders did we get yesterday? 102 orders I'm really happy with and we still have loads of stock on the site so... Oh, my laptop's also about to die. God, everyone's battery is running low, including my own. Put you in, babes. Not bad, not bad. We broke 800 orders. We have now got 815 life lifetime orders. So I'm hoping that the next drop will hit 1,000 orders, which would be so mental. I was working my little bum off yesterday because I need to edit the weekly vlog today. So I don't really have all day to pack orders. I have 12 orders left to pack that I've put to one side, these ones, because this morning I want to film some ASMR packing videos. And as I go and print out the labels, I look for orders that I think will look good to pack on camera. like. That doesn't necessarily mean really big orders, but like loads of different stickers and like cute little stationary bits so that I can do nice sounds and things like that. So I can edit them on the plane on the way to America. Little videos to go up while I'm away. I need to keep the shop alive while I'm gone. Scar will probably do some stuff too. And I'm excited to see like the content she makes while I'm gone. You know, people love ASMR packing videos. So we need to have a few of those in the bank. When Scarlett's not working, I can post those. So that is what I need to do this morning. I need to pack those. The sale is still running for another day. Like it closes tomorrow at 11 and it's currently quarter past nine on the Sunday. So we might still get a few orders tri trickling in. We've sold out of all of the second t-shirts. We have a few of the tote bags left. We have lots of socks left because I ordered so many socks. I'm gonna keep the Perfectly Imperfect tab on the website and I'm gonna keep the socks and I'm gonna keep the second mugs up all the time just because we have so many of them. Um, I didn't expect to sell out of them but I'll take everything else down whenever we do like an actual second sale I'll add all of the things but I think I'll just keep those on the website as like a constant thing just until we get rid of them honestly. Like I say I'm running everything from this room and I don't have the space to have all of this stuff and then order in new stock. It kind of needs to be going while it comes in which has been fine for obviously the t-shirts and the stationery and the stickers don't take up much space. And the mugs do take up a lot of space. If we can get rid of some of these, we've nearly gotten rid of the first box, which will be really good. And then the socks are in here. If we can get rid of this box and downsize the size of this box from this sale alone, then I'll be really happy. And then I'll just keep them on the site. If you want them, you can have them. Cause I think the socks are really cool. There are currently five people on the website, two active carts and one person checking out. So. I think there will be some orders trickling in throughout the day. I'm gonna do some more promotion on the Instagram just to push it a little bit more. Hello, it is the following day and I've packed bear parcels. <laughs> We're now up to over 850 orders total in less than two months of being open, which is insane. It's insane. I'm gonna keep this vlog short and sweet. I'm gonna end it here. I'm about to pack about 50 more orders as an ASMR style video. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you so much to everyone who shopped the Perfectly Imperfect sale. We got rid of loads of stock and we sold out of the totes and the t-shirts. So I'm super, super pleased with how it went and we'll definitely do it again in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope if you got something from the sale, you like it. I just placed a huge order of stock which I'm incredibly excited about. <laughs> so this is where we're at so far. I need to take them all to the post office. <laughs> Thank you so much for your orders. It, like, this is mental. This is absolutely insane. You the best. I'm gonna scurry off and film this now and I will see you guys in my next video.